morning people i've actually adjusted the microphone this time because i was picking up a load of background noise but anyway hopefully this is better i've done i've uh, changed the microphone settings hopefully it's better so today we've got the s13 here behind us uh, the engine is actually like it's done well it's not done but like all the machine work's done the painting's done it's ready to be back put back together so rusty fight is going to be doing that this week so we need to start thinking about getting the car up there to put the engine in so for now I've wanted to do this in the last episode, I wanted to do this for a while, I said I was going to do it in the last episode. Um, the engine bay, it's actually, it's not too bad, um, there's not much rust, it's just very dirty. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is, we're actually, I've gone to the tool station and I've got a load of stuff and we're going to be doing a homemade DIY rattle cam uh, engine bay tidy up. So we're going to be uh, cleaning it all off, flattening it all down, we've got some wire brushes and stuff over the drill. Uh, there isn't, luckily there isn't much rust, there's a few places which I'm going to wire brush and coat with some like rust protector, but most of it, it just needs cleaning and painting. First of all, this is what it looks like. A lot of you guys will be watching this video because you like to learn things, and more importantly, learn them in like a fun, creative, entertaining way, right? So this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of easy to watch and well structured video classes. And these allow you to explore new skills, passions and creativity. So with Skillshare there's no adverts on there whatsoever so it really allows you to get lost in your fun creative learning. I'm sure lots of you have social media that you want to grow either for personal reasons or business reasons. I found this class by Kat, I'm not how to pass it, I think it's Cockalette. It's actually number one on marketing at the minute. It's social media marketing, top tricks for growing your followers and going viral. So yeah, she basically talks over some really important points when it comes to social media marketing and, and how to really improve your business. So it's really easy to see where you are level already and see what ones will work best for you so you can kind of yes, skip the things that maybe aren't necessary. I understand the necessary need for editing your pictures. So I've actually so I've actually been using Lightroom for a very long time now. So I searched on here just to see if they actually had some classes on Lightroom. So I'm going to type in Lightroom. Uh, and there we go, we've got a, gla a class straight there by Dale McManus um, and he basically goes off a huge points of Lightroom, how to use it, what's important and basically what to do to, to get some amazing edited pictures. Now, just showing the importance of Lightroom and how amazing you can make your pictures and especially when it comes to social media. But that's just two things I've picked. There is absolutely thousands of classes for all skill levels. The layout is really inviting and it's super easy to use. So. Uh, there'll be a link in my description below and the first thousand people to click that link will get a free mum Skillshare. Uh, but huge thanks to Skillshare, Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to my video. This is what the bay looks like so far. So there's a lot of shit in the way. A lot of stuff dangling from when I took the engine out. So we're going to start tidying it all up, removing it all. Um, and we're going to start painting the bay in here as well. So I'm not, I've never done this before. I don't know how good I'm going to get. Um, I don't want it. I don't want it to be absolutely perfect. It's just good enough so it makes it a lot better than it is now. So I've got all the wiring on top of the windscreen. I can't fully remove everything because it's just like all this is all this wiring loom here. I, I would ideally want to move this like that that way and that inside the car, but I can't. It's all linked. So down here, I've got quite a lot out of the way. So quite a lot of shit's out of the way. Again, I can't fully remove this fuse box because it's into the wiring loom there. So I'm just going to, obviously, ease of use, I probably could remove the whole wiring loom out of the car, but it's really not worth it in my opinion. Most things are out of the way, see the chassis rails down here. Uh, this wiring loom is the messiest bit here. This just a, a literally attaches everything. Everything goes to there and I can't fully get out of the way. So instead, I've just cable tied things to the center of the car. So I've moved the turbo in, in and I've got the power steering pump off here. And I've just cable tied it all together so it's out of the way. So I can get access to everywhere. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to cover everything that I don't want getting wet, i.e. fuse boxes. I'm actually going to get a hose pipe and a soapy water it all with a brush, get it all clean. And then we're going to start masking everything off. But actually, we're going to get a brush and try to get all this bit clean down here. The rest of it's actually fine. This just needs to clean. There's little bits like here where I'm going to get the uh, wire brush in and just get rid of all the shit paint and stuff. But cover the fuse box. We've put bags in the holes. We don't want to get water in. Cover the fuse box and also put some masking tape over things that are like connectors. Right, that's the last of the water I'm gonna be using. One, because it's obviously just making everything wet, obviously. And two, I've got most of the big dirt off. So the rest of the dirt, I can just tackle it, tackle it with a microfiber. So for now, 
we're just going to get it as dry as we can and then we'll start getting the drill out and some of the uh, the surface rust off remember guys this is definitely not like a how to do a perfect engine bay restoration in your driveway this is just what i'm doing to make it look a bit better realistically now i might have some issues with getting it dry but we've got a lot of prep to do so i'm going to dry it off with a towel and hopefully in that time period it dries uh, properly or worse so leave it for a couple days to properly dry because we definitely don't want to be getting any water underneath the paint so what we're going to do now is and everything's pretty much clean as best i can get it i'm just going to do a little bit more like handheld with a, with a brush but we're going to start getting a wire brush and cutting back on some of the rusty bits and we have got some uh, like rust converter as well which we're going to brush on leave for a bit and then we're going to be good to paint let's just going over everything with a small microfiber getting in all the little places and just making sure everything's dry and also all the dirt's off as well okay so we have a, uh, a few different attachments here uh, which we got from uh, tool station um, and we're going to be putting them on and just wherever it looks brown just flat it down and see how good we can get it not after a perfect job please remember guys i'm just going to make it look better than it looks now so we're going to flat it down we've got drill a shout out to iron hell and anywhere the brownie bits or anything we're going to go over we've got a few different attachments just to start off but i think start off with this thin one because it's only like little bits where uh, where it's it's brown and i don't want to make my area my work area bigger than i need to do after that we're gonna we've got some sandpaper and some um abrasive pads and we're just gonna flat the whole thing down and we've also got some uh some, which i've heard really good reviews of the uh, rustin's rust converter so apparently you paint it on so we've got some brushes apparently it's like a watery base you paint it on it dries in about half an hour and that coats it protects it stops oxidization it actually neutralizes the rust underneath it as well and uh, it acts as a primer as well so we don't need to prime over the top of this so let's get drilling so the idea especially on these little bits here a little bit here uh, and just around this bits here we're just gonna see if we can flatten it off just like that so now that surface rust has gone I'm actually not finding any worrying worrying holes. I mean, there's bits here where it's eating away at the metal, but it's still fine. I thought I'd be, uh, well, I'm not gonna jinx it just yet, but <laughs> I'm actually not finding, I'm actually not finding any worrying holes or anything, which is good news so far. While I'm taking my time tackling the bits at the bottom, I'm actually gonna start putting this rust converter on the bits at the top, uh, just so it can start settling in so i'm going to read the instructions i have no idea how you do it but i'll just quickly show you what sort of thing we've been doing and like little bits like this where it just had like a little bit of surface rust just blasted it over this bit had a little bit of bubbling all the way along so i've just done that all the way along I'm gonna go a little bit more but it just started to go around the nuts so i'm just on this bit here so brush it on thick or brush a thin coat on directly onto the rust areas so we've got them off so it should work even better it will turn any treated areas blue black as it reacts with the rust if the area treated doesn't change color then reapply after 30 minutes there is no need to rinse off the first apply a top coat after a minimum of three hours okay so this was paint the same day shit run out of time <laughs> uh, okay so put it on now that gives us to like three o'clock perfect then we can paint so let's start smashing this on all right let's give it a go i needed to put it in a plastic container first but it should be all right just like this i don't know I don't, I don't know what counts as a thin layer i'm going to properly get into the gaps as well do you have to sand it down it leaves a lot of questions oh it is turning a bit blue already actually oh god yeah look at that jesus this paint takes forever to dry uh, it's three hours and it's so annoying because that's like most of the day now it's winter the bits that i've done uh so done there done there the legs down there i've done as well so they're they're all right so i've just painted them over you can see where it's going black and blue that's actually bare metal 
and where it's over is just bits of it's just over spray really so you can see a good example here the middle bit is the bare metal and just around the outside is is bit that's got like a bit of paint left on it um the worst bit is probably this bit um it's still like solid uh, but there was a lot of crap and it has took like a little bit of thickness off so that's probably the worst bit uh, i put a lot on there i was going to leave it like that for now like because it is actually solid but yeah that's probably the thing that's going to be the worst and i've done that leg down there as well that was the hardest bit to do because there's just so much shit in the way um it still looks like there's a bit of rust but it is just dirt which i've not been managed to get to so that's all done down there as well you know if you're going to see this bit with the engine in and just thought why the engine's out we're going to give it a good go so yeah we need to wait for this to dry a few hours and then we can just start spraying um i'm gonna have to get some sanding paper and just make, flatten because i do want it to have a better it does say just paint over this but i'd much rather flat it out um so i'm gonna flat it out a little bit especially where i've gone over into the paint but it just started to uh get an abrasive pad and just start to rough up the paint down here a little bit just because of time really time is going by so much faster than i nickelback anyone knows that song well done god i'm really dark right now it's just so annoying that i live in like a shadow so frustrating <laughs> always in a shadow with other youtubers because my views are dead time is against us guys i'm just going around with an abrasive pad and that's just going to scratch up the surface just so the paint sticks to it not going to do a full time and then i've got some sandpaper if there's any bits which need like a bit more abrasiveness watch me rust convert to lard i absolutely hate this just reminds me every time i do shit like this i hate painting i absolutely hate anything that comes down to cleaning or painting and usually them two things go together so i hate both of them i always wanted to be inside of sylvia but i don't think this is quite what i meant or thought it would be like because this is a pain of a job guys i ain't gonna lie like almost annoying as the under seal on the sora actually i don't know i think that was worse i do think the under seal on the sora was a lot worse to be honest i mean this would be easy if i just had everything out but i don't and it's not feasible to do so either and even still like this is like an old car right and there shouldn't be a lot going on. There is so much shit. I don't know how the hell we're gonna put this together when I've got the new engine, you know, guys. Like, genuinely. There is so much stuff in here and I don't remember where anything came from. Right, so where are we up to now? So I'm just going around masking everything I don't want painted, so. Everything's pretty much masked. I don't really mind get the th stuff that, is, that isn't masked now getting painted, but I've got a load of room in there so I can stand in and basically be quite precise with the with the thing. But now I'm just getting some sandpaper and I'm just going flattening it down. Right, guys, I can't do loads more because I need this to dry. I can do, The more I sand, the more shit's getting on top of the stuff that's not dry, so I can't really do anything. It's all masked. It's all ready to go. I just need to wait for that paint to dry. I can't believe how long it takes to dry. It's dry. It's really frustrating, actually. Especially when it says in the tin, do it the same day. It's like, well, you, how, many time, how many hours do you think there are in a fucking day, mate? Do you know what I mean? So, yes, yeah, so you'll wait 12 hours to dry. But make sure you do it in the same day. Well, we run inside, wait for an hour. I'm going to give it another hour, and, and, and that's all I can do. Give it because we've got like three hours of daylight max. Give it another hour, and I'm going to come out. Come out just do another another pass with a sand and a um, abrasive pad quickly wash it off or not wash it off but wipe it off and just send it with the paint because we need to get going we need this we need this painted asap rocky thing so i'm going to give it until three which is 50 minutes to fully dry come out quick sand quick abrasive pad boom the paint on right it's three o'clock i'm losing daylight most importantly i'm losing my patience all right I'm absolutely bored. I said I'm not trying to do a perfect job and I've been on it seven hours now trying to do a perfect job. I've left it to dry. It's three o'clock. Even if it's not dry, I don't care. So I've pretty much flattened most of it down. I'm just going to go over it with some alcohol wipes. Did I bring them out? I'm good. I've got some alcohol wipes. Go over it with some alcohol wipes. Make sure it gets off all the grease. And we're just going to send it. So the colour I've got is a satin black. So I hope I've got enough. I've got 500 mil. It should be enough for two fair. There's not much to paint. Satin black. Uh, I didn't want to go a different colour because it's not a professional job. And you would notice it if it's a different colour because I'm not going to be doing every single corner of it because shit's going to be in my way. 
and I didn't want to go back gloss black because it just looks standard so I think since we're going with like a shiny engine I think it'd be cool to have like a more satiny uh, engine base so we're going satin black so let's just go over it with an alcohol wipe this is what it looks like at the minute so we're going to go over it with an alcohol wipe everywhere just to make sure it's clean-ish it's all flattered down you can see it's pretty much flattered down uh, it will stick to that let's just send it because I'm getting bored right so we've gone over the alcohol wipe obviously the alcohol wipes are fast drying so we're just going to just check all the masking just make sure we're not going to blast anything we don't want to blast we'll get the get this rattled up let's just send it because i've been on this way too long i'm just going to give it a couple more minutes just to let that alcohol dry i'm pretty sure it is should be yeah it's fully dry right let's go because i am bored So I'm going to do a few coats. I have, I have master winds as well. Mmm, smells delicious. I don't mind about painting, painting the brake lines and stuff. Free protection, isn't it, boys? Okay, so this is with one, well, one can, really. I ideally need to go and buy another one now. So it's just gonna give this one time to dry. I'm gonna go and buy another one because I wanna do another can. There's a few little bits that are quite hard to get in down here. Um, and I painted the brake booster and things like that as well. So it's actually, look at it. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it looks miles better, especially the tunnels. Uh, they look miles better, so I do want to get underneath the tunnels there as well. So I'm going to go, let this dry, and we're going to go and buy another one of these real quick. Right, so I've just ran to Tool Station and got another one. So actually, reading it on the way home, um, this actually, uh, it's it's a it's like a really tough one. So it's tough industrial paint, as it says on the tin lads. Really thick, so it's like used to go over and protect metals. So even better, but... Coming back to it now, like just back up and have a look, it looks so much better. One more deep coat, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the bits that I missed and just do the whole thing so I can go wider now. Um, it looks the bollocks. It's really, really, really good, and I'm glad I've done it. Very stressful day, but I'm glad I've done it, and I'm excited to finish it. Right, and that is two cans. It's so, it like, it, it looks so much better. I mean, like, that prep was an absolute pain. And yes, I probably didn't, didn't do it perfect. Um, but is it miles better than it was? 100% miles better than it was. In terms of the way it looks and also, like, it's protected now. And I actually, looking back at it, I didn't do that bad of a job <laughs> grinding it down. Um, that rust converter thing, I, I don't know, I, I didn't really get that good of a vibe from it. I mean, it might have done something, uh, but it just never dried properly. Like, really didn't really dry properly. I feel like if I just got like a heavy duty primer, it probably would have done a better job. But I, I don't know, maybe it's still working underneath the paint. It probably is, I don't know. I mean, it just didn't feel like it was doing much, to be honest. Um, but that's why I'm glad that we got like a tough industrial paint. Um, because if it was just like a Halfords one or whatever, no, <laughs> no bad to Halfords. I mean, actually, yeah, bad. You, you, Halfords spray paint is shit. Like, you spray it and you have like a third left and it's just pissing out. Like, what's going on, mate? I'm going to show you what it looks like now. Uh, it's still wet, so it looks glossy, but it should go quite satin overnight. But let's just show you what it looks like. It looks so much better, especially like the... Uh, I've painted the brake booster and things like that as well because they were looking a bit tired. So that looks miles better. It actually looks like such a more expensive car already. Let me show you. So here it is, guys. I'm looking through the camera, and you can't really see much. I don't know if it's oh, if it's too dark or too bright, but it looks so much better. I mean, yeah, it's not the smoothest finish in the world, but it, I think it actually looks pretty good. So much better. Um, bit of a pain of a job, I'm not gonna lie. Um, especially when it comes to like all the prep and that. Really annoying job. I'm lucky I didn't find any holes. Like I did think this chassis was clean when I bought it, and it is. There's a couple little bits of surface rust there, but there is literally no holes on it. And I'm so happy, so far anyway, I've, <laughs> I've not looked fully underneath it, but it, it looks good uh, and I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna let that dry 
I think two cans is more than enough. How much did this cost me overall? Okay, so the paint cost me ten pounds. I was giving it five pound a tin. Ten pound for the paint, and my help my um, tool station order come to twenty quid. And that was probably things you don't need. That was like masking tape, uh, like little uh, grinding bits or like little uh, wide disc bits for the drill, sandpaper, abrasive pads. So ideally, you could do this for a tenner. Um, and well, if you want the rust convert, that was like six quid. So like probably twenty quid. Uh, twenty quid. 20 pound um, engine um, bay refurb paint thing, I don't know. And a bit of stress and a day's work. Worth it? Yes. Ask me that now, is it worth it? Yes. Ask me that three hours ago? No, I would have paid someone to do it. But now, looking at it and knowing that the painting bit's easy, it's just a pissing around all the other time. It's actually good and it's actually worth it. I mean, like, as you say, it looks shit on camera, but like, I'm looking at it now, it looks miles 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 better so ready to put the engine in buzzing thanks for watching everyone uh give it a go uh i love you all and hopefully you enjoy the s13 content if only you are um good job not so bad bit of a pain thanks for watching love you all see you next time